The significance of diagnosing power supply issues in non-responsive phones is crucial. This process encompasses a thorough examination of the central processing unit and associated components to ensure their proper operational capacity. In this context, the video elucidates methods for bypassing the overvoltage protection or OVP mechanism, thereby facilitating the revival of inoperative devices. This procedure incorporates the use of schematic diagrams which serve as vital tools for effective troubleshooting. Furthermore, the video offers an in-depth analysis of the hardware components integral to the charging process. Key components, including resistors, capacitors and diodes, are examined for their essential roles in safeguarding device integrity. The operational voltage supply for mobile devices generally falls within the range of 3.7 to 4.2 volts, which is paramount for effective charging and overall functionality. This voltage spectrum is fundamental to the performance of various device components. Boot capacitors are particularly noteworthy due to their dual-sided voltage provision, rendering them indispensable in the motherboard's charging section. Their capacity often reaches approximately 50 volts, significantly influencing device functionality. Proper direct current to direct current, or DC to DC, conversion is essential for the operational efficacy of mobile devices, with specific voltage outputs serving as indicators of successful functionality. Monitoring the 1.8 volts is critical for achieving optimal performance during troubleshooting efforts. The importance of boot capacitors within an electronic circuit is examined, emphasizing their role in initiating power supply to various segments. This function is vital for ensuring comprehensive system operation. Moreover, the video provides insights into the general purpose input output block found within the CPU, exploring its integration with peripheral components. This understanding is instrumental for engineers striving to design efficient and effective systems. Demonstrations on tracing power supply points are presented, illustrating techniques for identifying and validating connections on the motherboard. Mastery of this skill is indispensable for successful mobile device repairs and troubleshooting endeavors. The role of capacitor specifications is emphasized, particularly in maintaining appropriate voltage levels within electronic circuits. The ability to identify the correct capacitors is critical to preventing potential electronic failures. Tracing power paths emerges as a pivotal strategy in diagnosing voltage delivery issues within devices. Proficiency in this technique can significantly enhance the efficiency of troubleshooting procedures. Various supply levels, such as S4 and S2, are discussed for their provision of essential voltage to key components like the CPU. Accurate identification of these supply levels is imperative for effective power management. A thorough examination of the significance of 1.2 volts within CPU operations is presented, illustrating its critical function in effectively powering multiple components. This voltage is underscored as a fundamental requirement for device operability. The video further explores various voltage blocks, namely A, B, and C, detailing the locations of specific voltages and their importance within the overarching electronic system. This systematic categorization aids in the diagnostic process. Additionally, the video covers testing methodologies for voltage levels utilizing tools such as digital storage oscilloscopes, or DSO, which are essential for diagnosing complications within the power supply chain of electronic devices. Accurate voltage measurements are fundamental to successful diagnostics. The procedure for copying and pasting specific traces is demonstrated to validate system connections, which assists in locating relevant points associated with a camera connector. Voltage levels, particularly the critical 1.8 volts, are identified as key indicators for assessing the functionality of the CPU and its power supply. The video recommends meticulous monitoring of these levels during troubleshooting. In conclusion, the creator encourages viewers to engage with the content by liking, commenting, and subscribing, thereby supporting the efforts invested in producing valuable educational material. Such engagement facilitates the continuation of informative resources.